So, um, I got this comment on my last video. Um, X term is the fastest terminal in Linux. That's true. Okay, it might not be, but because somebody did say actually, I think it's in this comments about um, the literal GPU acceleration on the terminal, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Who cares? Do you really care? But anyway, let's just put it down to raw performance. X term is the fastest. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said that. I'm probably wrong. X term is fast. Okay, you just watch the other video. You'll be able to see the performance stats. I've got them up here. Look at that. Well, UX term. So that's got Unicode support. Whatever ML term. I don't even know what ML term is, but I guess it's like a variation of X term. Whatever. And then here you go, some more there. And uh, anyway, something we're going to come back to in a minute. So I got this comment here from Soul947. And I'll just read out what they said. Newer viewer here. So I don't know if you normally or often run the bare VGA text mode, no X11. So that's no graphical environment. Effectively, when you boot up your computer, if you looked at my videos, you get a blank screen. Congratulations if you've got that from my installs. Um, text console. But I wonder how your time in tests would come out if you did. Well, now you've probably been watching my videos. If you're all two people been watching my videos, you're probably thinking, oh, I keeps talking about the TTY, he keeps teasing us. You know, obviously I've held back, really, I'll be honest. I've been setting up the graphical, so X11 with X term. What we're in now, this is why you can see the, this browser as it is, because it's running X11. You've got Wayland as well, another graphical drive, which is the protocol as it's supposed to be. It's the new standard, really. Anyway, but uh, I've been holding back on the TTY, even though it's effectively what I use maybe 70, 80% of the time, and I'm not like as my desktop. So I may be the exception to the rule because I don't know anybody who really does, but that's what I do. And I will be coming out with videos about it in the future. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but the videos in the future will cover that. However, we are going to look at the TTY today or the terminal, the, the terminal, the original terminal, if you like. I'll just give us a little outline. Um, and then, based on that comment, welcome soul947. Hope you enjoy the channel. Congratulations, you're the first reader, uh, first reader, first viewer who's got their themselves on this channel. Congratulations. Tell your mum you're famous. Well done. Maybe one person will watch this video. Anyway, I'll stop running on. So, if you go back to the last video, you'll see that I ran tests on this very badly, very poorly. They didn't really prove anything because I'm not really equipped for this, obviously. Have you not watched my videos? And uh, anyway, aren't my intros just wonderfully long and inane? Congratulations if you've made it this far. So what is the No X11 text console? Well, we'll go back to the Arch Wiki, and if we go into the installation, it says you'll lock, we will be logged in on the first virtual console. So when you install, you don't have any graphical environment, you have the virtual console, the bare virtual console. What is the virtual console? It's also known as the virtual terminal, so the VT. Okay, And effectively this is the early days of computing before you had these graphics drivers, protocols, X11, now Wayland. You had the terminal virtual console to put input your text or whatever um, and Every computer has some Windows, you can see here, operate Unix operating system, but you know, Windows has got what PowerShell now and command line, I guess that's the same thing. But anyway, this is talking specifically Unix. So this is like the early days computing, the foundations, right? Um, so it's not really too much more to say about that. If you want to look into the history of that, I don't know, whatever. Now I love the TTY as it's also known as and I'll show you what I mean by the TTY. So when you echo, so if you echo uh, this 
this um, environmental variable, this variable which is in your system, this tells you what terminal you're in. So if I put in term, x term to 56 color. So this is what's set up on here. This is x term, the ones I did the test on before. But I'm not going to kill x11 because it will kill my recording. But if I go into my um, if I go into my virtual machine, as you can see, I've got a big nice font in the virtual machine now. This is in, and I will do it. It's just called Linux. That's what it's called. It's the Linux virtual terminal. So this is the base term. This is what I use most of the time. And um, I'm going to obviously in the future show you some special things about this. Frame buffer, frame buffer. Look that up. It's just amazing. Anyway probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's go back uh, here, uh, let's come out of that. So if you remember from the last year, I ran these tests. So as per the um, viewer, Sol947, I'm going to run some tests. I'm going to do it in the virtual machine. I'm going to first do it with X term on the virtual machine. I'm not going to bother do it using jump scroll and fast scroll or whatever it was before because I don't need to compare those like for like, and obviously my tests were pointless. So we're going to compare: is X term still the fastest, or is the virtual console, the No X11 virtual console, like Sol has asked me, is that faster? Are you ready for this? Okay. So I am going to go into here, and I'm going to clear. So let's first of all, because I'm doing it under these conditions, I'm doing it in the in the um, Oh, words escape me sometimes, most of the time. In the virtual machine, I've got the graphical environment on the virtual machine, so we're going to go into the graphical environment. I'm going to open up a terminal, and uh, as you remember, I've got my script, very simple for loop. This one's uh, iterating lower because the virtual machine is running slower than the main machine, so I don't want to go on forever. You probably already switched off now, but. Well done if you're all half a person that stayed with me. Here you go. So um, let's clear this. So I can prove to you, look, I'm proving to you. Um, if I do term, X term, it's not got 256 color. Who cares? Maybe this will make it faster. Um, so we are going to run with the time command, like the previous video, and see how long this takes. Run in, run in. Might take similar sort of seconds as the previous video, but even though it's less iterations, it's running, it's running. Okay, Let's see what's happening. It's getting there. Okay, 17 seconds. I'm not going to run it again. Let's, I think the performance difference is probably going to be quite apparent. So, this is in the virtual machine 500,000 took 17 seconds, user time, who cares, system time, who cares, okay, let's uh, p kill i3, so I'm coming out of the graphical environment, I'm now into the virtual terminal, so I'm going to do again, echo term, we're in Linux to prove to you, okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to run it with the time command, here we go, might be noticing already it seems to be slower x term could be the, still the fastest so what was it 17 seconds on the last one well oh, we haven't even hit 100,000 yet <sighs> just gonna take some time it's gonna take some time what do you want me to talk about well um, not really sure <laughs> come on you nobody's sat through this this long. I've seen the stats, I know. It's just me talking to myself, so don't worry. We're up to, oh, we're nearly halfway. Nearly halfway, Ooh, which is painful. Okay, so this is a new one. Um, my camera stopped recording randomly. I don't know why. So I'm actually watching the video I recorded on my screen, and then I'm talking about it like I did when I recorded, or although it didn't record the video, you probably have no idea what's going on. But anyway, so yeah, I'm providing commentary for the screen I recorded. And uh, anyway, yeah, so... Uh, 
1 minute 30 uh, the VT, the virtual terminal, took to um, do its thing. This is really weird. I'm actually commentating on my own video. This is how bad this is the state of, of technology. I don't know what I said at the time, but yeah, 1 minute 30 you can see on the screen. Yeah, I said a load of things. Um, so yeah, one minute thirty. Yeah, so that is means that X term is still the fastest. Okay, X term is the fastest, faster than all the other terminals, faster than um, ST, URXVT, um, uh, this is so weird. Um, uh, alacrity, that's it, and way faster than this. And uh, I think what I said at the end of the video as well is just put this in perspective. So this is running, this um, test is running from booting up the computer, running the first virtual terminal, running X11, then running a virtual machine, then running a virtual terminal. I did the first X term test in a, um, uh, then in X11, then obviously this is one level lower, this is, um, the virtual terminal but yeah just let that thing and sync all those layers whatever anyway so yeah x term is still the best all those people who downvoted me or one of you now look at you look absolutely destroyed the tty which is still my favorite i admit still my favorite but um yeah the frame buff is amazing uh i guess if you need to iterate a lot just use X term. It's, it's obvious, right? Anyway, probably similar performance with ST, whatever. Anyway, yeah, so finally ending this video. Hopefully, this is recorded. Anyway, fake YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, whatever. Anyways, hope this is recorded. See you next time.